This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App Canvas Painter, Puzzle 9. Draw when the key is pressed. Ah, this app now lets the user draw, but if, if, but they have no control of whether the pen is up or down. Let's give the user the ability to choose when the pen is up or down. Okay. We won't even need to add a new event handler to our app. You may have noticed that the event parameter includes information about whether certain keys were pressed, right? And so this is our event parameter. It's passed by the on event uh, function here, and it has all sorts of information from like the X location of the mouse to what keys are well pressed. Parameter includes information about whether certain keys were pressed and when the event fired. They are stored in variables with names like shift key, those are properties, or alt key, and are stored as boolean true slash false. We are going to use the shift key variable to decide when we should draw circles. All right, add an if statement inside your event handler function, where the condition is based on the value stored in event dot shift key. Okay, so these are actually properties, right? So shift key is part of this event. So it's a variable within a variable, right? Uh, well, with it, yeah, within this item, and it accesses a specific thing in it. So if shift key is true, then draw a circle. Oh, so event dot shift key, if it's true, if that is true, then draw the circle. That means I'm holding shift down. If it's false, then don't. All right, so... Let's grab control and we need an if circle and then what we're looking for here is we want to know that event dot shift key meaning when I clicked the mouse on the canvas area am I holding down the shift key you might want to increase or decrease the radius of your circle example to five run the program to confirm dots are only drawn when the shift key is pressed I'm going to try five and let's hit run and let me hit shift ah <laughs> but uh and let me let go of shift oh no that's cool okay yep release to stop if you wish to use console log to display event again you'll see event at shift key is one of the store values yep cool awesome well let's keep uh hey it looks like a weirdish person almost. Let's uh, keep going. <laughs>